completeness about you simply because you can purify your aura. There are various ways of purifying water. It's good at least the drinking part of your water is purified in a way that it is not chemically poisoned. There is a certain cleansing of the Akashic dimension of who you are. At some point, you'll feel suddenly there is a certain freedom, a certain release within you. For cleansing of the aura, an ocean breeze or on top of a mountain peak is the best always. Because it is coming with least amount of turbulence, it's coming on a flat surface without any choppiness to it. When I say choppiness to it, if you see a boat uh, going in the water, it leaves a wake, initially you can see it, after some time you cannot see it, but if you go with another boat, cross it, it gets thrown around because the wake is still there. So if the wo if the air is moving on the land surface, particularly in cities and wherever, where there are many, all kinds of obstructions, the amount of wake it's creating is quite big. Instead of calling it a wake, let's say, the amount of turbulence it's creating is quite big. That air doesn't help much. But you just go sit there on the beach, let's say it's breezy, steadily breezy one day, not cyclonic. You sit there and suddenly you come home and you feel like, Tch, what's this life all about? It's just, you know, just, just want to be there. All this activity, you don't want to look at your phone, not mail. Suddenly there's a certain completeness about you, simply because you can purify your aura, just you can air clean yourself. Running water over vegetables is a good thing to do, but uh, you're running chemically contaminated water. When I say chemically contaminated, I'm talking about chlorine that you're putting into it. I want you to understand this. The nature of life on this planet is such, What works as a poison to one creature also works as a poison to another creature, maybe not to the same extent. What kills a bacteria also kills you in some way, because fifty-two percent of your body is bacteria. It also kills you in a certain way. Maybe you won't fall dead, but kills you. So if you can kill a bacteria with something, in some way you kill a part of yourself too, but you have taken to that choice because of people have come together in large numbers to live in one place, not out of their love for each other, out of greed, out of compulsions, out of whatever. So once people concentrate like this, then contamination happens on various levels. To contain this contamination, we poison the water because there are too many things out there, if you drink it with that, you may die, so you want to kill. It's chemical warfare every day, both for those organisms in the water and also the organisms in the body and your own organism, you yourself are an organism, this is also being poisoned. So the best way is not to run the tap water, if tap water is chlorine-free, yes, it's very good to do that. Otherwise, the better way to do it as we normally do in India is, you… Uh, you can't get any other water, anyway it's chlorinated water, so what can you do? So, if you put a little bit of vibhuti, the ash and turmeric and soak the vegetables for let's say fifteen, twenty minutes,
has much better impact rather than running it with chlorinated water. Today there are various ways of purifying water, modern methods of purification have come, but they have not come to public water. Individual homes have different types of purification with which you can purify water. It's good at least the drinking part of your water is purified in a way that it is not chemically poisoned. So instead of running water, you can put turmeric and sacred ash in it. If you don't have sacred ash, you can just put turmeric in it and little salt and turmeric will do the job for you. Or you can put some neem. You can have some amount of neem leaf in your house. Every day you can use the same water, that is the beauty about neem. If you have a bucket where the bottom is full of neem leaves, every day you can put your vegetables into the same thing and pick out your vegetables and keep the water closed. It'll work fine for you. If it's a metal container, it's best. Uh, if you have a copper container or brass container, it's great, otherwise even a steel container will do or glass is fine. Using fire as a way of cleansing your system is a very powerful system. Here in the ashram we call this klesha ashana, which means about destroying or burning up the impurities in the system. Because when you look at the human form, the outermost aspect of your body is akash. Somewhere between twelve to eighteen inches of akash is there around almost everybody. This is an essential ingredient of the making of this form. Purification of the body is important in the sense you can purify it just a simple bath or a shower that you take is one form of purification. You just want to wash the surface of the skin. And if you pay attention, especially if you are showering with cold or cool water, you will see a shower is not just about cleansing the skin or washing whatever uh, dirt or impurities that may be on your skin but it reju rejuvenates you and cleanses you of many things. If you have... Uh, if you are very stressed, if you are bothered about something, something disturbing, you go stand under the shower for a few minutes and come out, you see a certain relief from all those things. This is not just because of cool water flowing over your body, and calming your nerves or whatever, that also is happening, of course. Beyond that, there is a certain cleansing of the akashic dimension of who you are. So, as you can do a water wash for the body, you can do a fire wash for the body. This is what is Kleshanasana Kriya. If the person who is doing it is properly trained and they're doing the way it should be done, then in the right kind of moment, you will see initially it's just fire, but at some point you'll feel suddenly there is a certain freedom, a certain release within you because something that was attached to you is gone.